Hi guys, my sister's asked me to make a cheesecake video. So today I'm going to make sticky toffee cheesecake. Let's get making. Before we make the cheesecake, as well as the ingredients, there's two other things that you're going to need. One of them is a big bowl, because when you put your mascarpone and you're mixing it, you want a big bowl so it doesn't spill all over the sides. And the other thing, the most important thing, is a cheesecake dish. With this one, the base comes out. There's another kind you can get, and it's got a clip on the side. And when you open the clip, the ring opens and you can take it off your cheesecake. If you haven't got one, you could end up putting it in a pan and making a right mess. So go and get yourself one of these. And now, here's a list of all the ingredients that I use for my cheesecake. Now I always use McVitie's biscuits. I'm not affiliated with them, they don't pay me, I'm not sponsored. It's because I think they're the best. I've tried others and I've always had the best results with these. They're fantastic. Now everybody tells you, the quickest way to break all your biscuits is to put them all into a plastic bag and roll them or hit them with a rolling pin. Well, that's not quite true because when you put them all in a bag, and you try to break them all, the ones in the middle, although they get broke, they end up with some quite big pieces. So the quickest way is to put them in one at a time. Roll them with your rolling pin. No big lumps. Next one in. Repeat the process eight times. And that is the quickest way you'll break all your biscuits. And there you go. All broken, but no big lumps. Dead easy. The next thing to do is to melt the butter in the pan. Once it's melted, add your sugar. Keep stirring until all the sugar has melted into the butter. Just before it starts to boil, turn the heat off. Keep stirring. Let it cool down just a little bit. Now that all the sugar has melted into the butter, we add the broken biscuits. And we mix until all the biscuits are covered with the butter and the sugar. You can see when it's ready, they change colour slightly, they go a little bit darker. Now while the biscuits, the butter and the sugar are still warm, we put them into the cheesecake pan. And now, the trickiest bit, even though it's quite easy. Spread all the biscuits out and start patting them down until they're all even, evenly spread out. Then start to press down around the edges and lightly run the spoon 
backwards and forwards over the surface. Pushing down at the edges, running it over the surface. Keep repeating this until all the cheesecake base is all packed down. Now that is lovely and smooth. While the caramel mixture is still warm, we pour some of it onto this base. Turn the tin so the caramel runs all over the biscuit base. Add a little bit more if need be. But don't be tempted to run it with your spoon. It'll just break all the biscuits. caramel's starting to cool down now, so it's running a lot slower. But whatever you do, don't be tempted to spread it with a spoon or a knife, because it'll just break all the surface of the biscuits. It'll be a right mess. Now put it in the fridge, and the biscuit base and the caramel will harden up slightly, ready for putting the mascarpone cheese on top. Here's a little sample of the caramel I put in the fridge after I finished making it. And it's um, solidified a little bit now, it's not runny anymore. Let's just have a quick taste. Oh, that is gorgeous. Now, we put the mascarpone into the big bowl that we talked about earlier. The mascarpone cheese is at room temperature and that makes it a lot easier to stir. This sugar is especially for making jam. It contains gelatin. You can find it in more supermarkets. Next, I add a couple of spoons of hot caramel to the mascarpone. And while it's still warm, give it a good mix with a whisk. out of the fridge and now that it's cold the caramel has gone quite hard so we just pour all the mascarpone on top of the caramel and spread it around leave a little bit in the bowl in case there's any spaces that you need to fill This one's spreading quite nicely. Well, I suppose I'll just have to eat this. that back in the fridge and let it cool off. Oh, it's already cold. Put it back in the fridge overnight and tomorrow you'll have a perfect cheesecake. Now my cheesecake's been in the fridge overnight. The gelatin in the sugar has made all the mascarpone nice and firm. So the only thing I have to do now is warm the caramel and pour it all over the top.
Mm. Mm. That is proper good. Mm. Catch you next time.